What's up, YouTube? This is Hansa the Reaper here uh, with an Echeria deck update. Um, I'm sorry about the camera. I'm using my webcam. Camera's currently broken. But uh, alright, let's get started. First off, synchros you need Nature Beast, of course, and Nature Barkeon. This one negates traps by removing two cards from the grave. This one, this one negates spells by removing two, by milling the top two cards of your deck. So if you get this out, you don't really need Bamboo Shoot. But I mean, they're amazing. Uh, those are the main two synchros. Of course, you run Stardust. Every good level 6, Bionic, Goyo, level 7, Black Rose. Because this deck has the capability of synchroing for anything from level 5 to level 8. Fairly easy. Alright, the main card of the deck. 3 Naturia uh, Bamboo Shoots. This is the MVP of the deck. Um, your opponent cannot activate any spell or trap cards. The only way they can stop this card is by using Solemn Judgment or Solemn Warning. Or something that negates a special summon. And it has to be a counter trap. Bottomless doesn't stop it. Uh, or compulsory. Great card. Then you have three Naturia Cliffs. Um, I only managed to get two from the Hidden Arsenal box I bought. But um, if you can't get them, you should play Giant Rat. It's decent, but this guy's way better. Because... Uh, he can get bottomless, which is the only downside, but um, when you sack Cliff for a bamboo shoot, you still search out for his effect. So you could go uh, bamboo shoot for Cliff and get another Cliff out, or something else that you need. So yeah, I need another Cliff, guys, if you guys can help me out with that. If not, Giant Rat is also a great card to use if you can't afford Cliffs or you can't find, find them. Next addition to this deck is a uh, Naturia Horn Beetle. I run two. 1800 attacker. It says you contribute uh, another uh, Naturia monster to uh, negate the special summon of one of your opponent's monsters. So, uh, tribute Cliff to negate the special summon of a big guy and search out for another Cliff. Great combo. And he's also a beater, which this deck lacked off from my first video. Then we have two Naturia Pumpkin. This is from Star Strike Blast. Um, when she's summoned, you get uh, to special summon another Naturia. If you got any Naturia tuners in your hand, you can automatically sync her with her. So it's a great card to speed up the deck. Uh, I run two because that's you only need two really. I run one Naturia Dragonfly. This card is 1,200 attack, 4 stars. It says um, it gains 200 attack per Naturia in your graveyard. So late game, this card is sick. I was playing a dragon deck, and um, uh, he, he had his blue eyes on the field, red eyes, darkness, metal dragon. And this card was 2,700 attack, and, can't, and it can't be destroyed by monsters 2,000 attack or higher. So it's like broken late game. We have two beans. A uh, great stall card to tri uh, tribute for uh, Bamboo Shoot. And um, your opponent takes a thousand trying to kill it, and he uh, they'll have a little combo with him that I'll show you later on. One morphing jar. Uh, this card uh, helps you draw power. I, I don't I can't I don't have duality, so I have to run cards that give me draw power. And morphing jar is one of them. It's a great card. Uh, it it uh, you mill your hand, so you have fodder for uh, Barkion in the grave. And uh, for Pot of Avarice, another MVP of the deck, three Naturia Cherries, level one tuner. Uh, her effect is when one cherry dies, you get to su special summon up to two cherries from your deck to the field. She could uh, be used for synchroing, or you could just set one, get two out, and sack next turn for the for a bamboo shoot. So she's really good, the only level one tuner I need. Two Cosmo Beats. Um, this tuner is amazing. Level 2. It special summons on your opponent's turn with a normal summon or set a monster. So he's really broken first turn, first hand. They can normal summon. You special this, and then on your turn, you go Bamboo Shoot. 
uh, and it's also really good to synchro with. Um, it's just a really good overall card. And uh, my level 3 tuner, Rose Whip, 1700. It says um, your opponent can only play one Magic or Trap per turn. She's just here because she's a level 3. And she has a high defense. And it, you could tribute her for Bamboo Shoot. But this would be replaced when the Cheer Butterfly comes out. Alright, for the Magic cards, I have one Monster Reborn. Um... So we're born to Synchros mainly, not Bamboo Shoot, because Bamboo Shoot does not get its effect if he's Monster Reborn. I run three Burden instead of Natura Forest. Um, I feel like Burden is a great card. It screws up your opponent a lot. And uh, Forest is just too, con you have to negate it, so it could be dead. This can never be dead as long as it's on the field. And then if they MST it, you got three more. So it's really good. Especially with bees now, you can actually kill monsters. Uh, two Book of Moons. This card uh, helps you uh, protect your bamboo shoot when they're trying to get over it. And it's just an overall great card. One MST. This might be taken out since you have the bamboo shoots, but one's really good. Two Pot of Avarice. This deck has a lot of cards in the grave. With cliffs, you keep searching and searching, and if you get one cliff out, and you keep getting cliff, and then your last cliff, you get something else, you should have at least four monsters in your grave very uh, very soon. And then with cherries, uh, also, they get all three out. So this is draw power, since I don't run dualities. And uh, two smashing grounds. They're just a good card in this deck to protect your uh, weaker monsters. Then we have one solemn judgment. Only one solemn warning, you don't really need to because of the following card. Two polynosis, it's a solemn judgment for plants, but instead of uh, paying life points, you tribute one of the plant types to negate the special summon or normal summon of a monster or the effect of a magic trap or effect monster and destroy it. It's counter trap, just like solemn. So you don't need two solemn warnings with this card. Uh, Wall of Thorns, it's a plant mirror force. Uh, if you have a Mirror Force, you run a Mirror Force instead, but the reason I was running Wall of Thorn was because I ran two. Two Scrap Crows uh, helps d protect your Bamboo Shoot a lot. You keep saving it with this, and there's a combo with this and uh, Beans. They attack Beans, they take 500, they attack Beans again, you negate it, they take 1,000, and then they have to attack it again to take 1,500 if they do want to get rid of it that bad. And then my last two are two bottomless trap holes, uh, staple. Um, cards you shouldn't run in the Cheerio deck. Tulip, uh, the other level two tuner is a lot better. Um, she just gives them 500 attack. The other one could special summon itself when your, your opponent normal summons. Uh, Natura Fruit Fly, it's all right if you run forest and no burdens. It's like a mini burden. That's why I don't run it. Uh, if you don't have solemn uh, warnings, you should run a, a Black Horn of Heaven. It just says negate the special summon of a monster. It's decent. Like, you could stop JD, but you cannot stop, like, a monster a special summon by Monster Reborn. It has to be by its effect. Like, Chaos Sorcerer, Dark Arm. It still destroys Synchros and stuff. It just can't stop uh, monsters that are being, like, Monster Reborn or stuff like that. Uh, you should not use Pineapple. Um, you can only, it only keeps coming back if there's beasts and, uh, plants, I believe. And this deck runs rocks and insects, so this just gets in the way. I used to run it, but, uh, because I had Pot of Averses to stop it, uh, to take out the stuff I didn't want in there, but, um, it's just, it just gets annoying. Alright, uh, peace, YouTube.